U.S. intelligence officials scored a major coup as they confirmed earlier this week intercepting a sophisticated underwear bomb coming from an al-Qaeda affiliate in Yemen. But the threat remains deadly serious. NBC's national investigative correspondent Michael Isikoff has more now from Washington. Michael, good morning. Good morning, Lester. U.S. officials remain on high alert this weekend for more plots coming from a group that has become this country's most dangerous terrorist adversary. Passengers flying into the U.S. this weekend are facing more pat-downs and random searches under a new directive from Homeland Security officials. And the U.S. is stepping up drone strikes targeting al-Qaeda militants in southern Yemen. U.S. officials tell NBC News they remain worried that al-Qaeda bomb makers in Yemen may have assembled more underwear explosive devices, even more sophisticated than this one used in a 2009 attempt to blow up an airliner over Detroit, and that more plots against U.S.-bound airplanes could be underway. I think there are several plots out there that could pose a, a real threat to um, aviation. In terms of bomb making, chemical explosives, uh, I would consider this to be the epicenter, if you will, of the threat against uh, the United States. This chilling video shows how dangerous al-Qaeda and its affiliates in Yemen can be. Just weeks before the latest bomb plot was foiled, thanks to an undercover informant, an al-Qaeda aligned group appeared to execute another Saudi informant accused of helping the U.S. identify targets for its drone strikes. <laughs> Exploiting political turmoil in Yemen, al-Qaeda has made dramatic advances since 2009. It's tripled the number of its fighters and seized large swaths of territory and military bases. In large portions of southern, southern Yemen, al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula sees itself as the de facto government there. Just last weekend, al-Qaeda in Yemen boasted online that it has expanded its bomb-making facilities from a very modest and small laboratory three years ago to a new modern one today, with access to a large deal of chemicals from military laboratories, all overseen by the group's master bomb-maker, Ibrahim al-Asiri. He's had three more years to train other individuals to be able to replace him if he were killed. So the assumption now is that AQAP has more bomb makers today than it did in 2009. All this has made U.S. officials more wary than ever, that d despite the coup in intercepting that latest bomb plot. Lester? All very disturbing stuff. Michael Isikoff, thanks very much.